The Oculus Store guidelines call for a cube map. The cube map is this basically giant image that it's going to take and wrap around the view of your product in the Oculus Store. Definitely sounds cool, definitely want it, so I'm preparing one for my project. I was trying to figure out the best way to do that. Well, uh, here it is. So if you have the Oculus Utilities for Unity, which you probably do, you have the tool already installed, which is the good news. So just for the sake of reference, here's the uh, stuff to download, the Oculus Utilities package. This should be running in your project to make this work. And then once that's installed, this piece of documentation is very helpful. This is the cube map screenshot documentation. And essentially what it says is, go to the menu and click a couple buttons, set a setting, you get your cube map. So in Unity, with the OVR stuff installed already, I'm going to go up to Tools, and then look for Oculus, and then look for OVR Screenshot and Wizard. Click that. And what it's going to do is, by default, it's going to say Render From, which will be, by default, the center eye of your camera for Oculus. And then the size is going to be 2848. That's right for the Oculus Store. And then under Save Mode, you want to change this to Save Cube Map Screenshot. Down here, this is the path it's going to it's going to save the screenshot to. And then finally, PNG Texture. You can leave all that just as it is. Just make sure you change that Save Mode to Save Cube Map Screenshot. Click Render. And now it's going to say, where do you want to save to? My project, I'm going to Assets, going to the Cube Map folder that I made myself. And we're going to call this uh, Cube Map 2. And click Save. So now you can see that the cursor turned into an hourglass. It takes a moment to think about it. And then when it's finished in the hierarchy, uh, excuse me, in the projects view, I can go to Cube Map and see my file down here as Cube Map 2. So I'm going to show that in Explorer. I'll just verify that this is what we need. So I'm going to right click that, go to Properties, and then um, <clears throat> under Details, it shows the dimensions of the entire panoramic, which is that uh, basically 12K by 2K. And so that number right there matches the number in the docs. So all that's looking good. With all those things in place, you go back to your Oculus Store uh, entry. You're supposed to click on Assets. And then at the bottom, this is where I once saw Cube Map as an option. I don't see Cube Map anymore. So, you know, at first I thought maybe they took it away. Maybe I'm the only person seeing this. But, um,. Digging through some forum posts, we've got a guy here that says, that's odd, I don't have the selection on my asset page. All I've got is the others, but not this one, so maybe this is a bug you've experienced as well. I guess I'm going to mail Oculus to try to figure this one out. But uh, back to the point, that's how you generate a cube map using probably what's already on your computer. Thanks, hope this was helpful, and uh, be sure to check out good old Seashell Scuttle, the game by Bunny Gun Games that we're going to be launching uh, hopefully sooner than later, as soon as I can get this cube map uploaded. See you next time.